Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, there's some new strippers in my life. So I figured I'd introduce you all. Let's take a look. All right, guys, I've compiled a rough estimate of some of the strippers I have in my life. Um, this isn't all of them, I believe. Yeah, let's see. I believe I have some more like I get O style up. Oh, there's some automatic ones. I love the automatic ones. There's some heavy duty ones right there. Put some of these out on the table. These ones here are a little bit separate. So we're going from the most rudimentary to the new ones right here. Uh, the most rudimentary would be my flush cutters. Believe it or not, I use these all the time for stripping and uh, especially for um, the outer insulator that's on power cords and stuff. These guys all the time. Scissors, believe it or not, scissors uh, can strip wires too. And that would explain why I've got a cut on my hand, right? <laughs> these guys here, when it comes to lightweight, and most versatile, these strippers right here are easily some of my favorite. You can strip almost any diameter and you can preset it, your minimum, with that little nut right there. And uh, these guys here are super easy. I love them. We've got the uh, plier style, you know, the very tip. It's got the little uh, knurled bit. They're lightweight, also kind of light duty. These Kleins are a wee bit heavier duty. Uh, the only thing I don't like is they got the straight jaw down here for the uh, cutter. Yeah, not, not too big of a fan on that. It does have an integrated crimper. So they are a heavier duty plier. These ones here are yet heavier duty than even those. Uh, still straight jaw on the cutter. You got the shear for the, the two screws right there. And uh, they are spring loaded. So these ones here are, are nice and easy to use. They're not the lightest, but uh, they're also needle nose pliers and, and a versatile set of needle nose pliers at that. But uh, they're a heavier set. They're cast or forged rather. And um, this set here is one of my newer sets. It came with my wire ferrule set. It's kind of a mixed bag. Um, it's got an integrated crimper, not so fantastic. Again, the straight jaw, which I don't know why they always add the straight jaw because those are always the most difficult to cut with. Um, let's see, this one here is the over under stripper. I can flip it back and forth and go from uh, straight jaw cutter to a wire stripper. Yeah, they work. Versatile, kind of a gimmick. Uh, but that brings me to the newest one. And I seen these ones sitting there. I thought, you know something? A lot of Europeans like using this style. And I've never used this style. So I was like, you know something? It's all metal construction. This style here actually has some pretty big advantages, man. So uh, one disadvantage for this style is you have to select your wire gauge. You see that? So unlike other automatic sets right here you can only fit so large of a diameter but it can be a variety of gauges and it automatically adjusts and when it strips it uh it can automatically figure out what diameter you're trying to to strip out whereas this style here it's got a jaw that comes down so notice it locks it on this side first and then secondly it locks the second side right there and it holds it and it stretches the wire quite wide, very wide. So they're, they're not that heavy. They look like they're heavier than they are. There's a lot of pinch points on the, this set right here. This is the style that a lot of Europeans uh, use. And also I've seen a lot of electricians use this set. Very interesting. I think it's, it's interesting that if you are stripping back a larger section, you can uh, pull a larger batch away than with this one. However, for speed, I still think this one here is going to be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see how, let's see how they do. Okay, guys. 
So I got you all set up here. Let's take a look and see how well they do. Now, for maybe these work a little bit better for the solid core because it just feels like it's not going to do as well. But maybe I take that back. So you're going to set your depth right here first with a slight grab so it doesn't even break the outer insulation. And then as you, wow, those are buttery smooth. So you just got to make sure that your conductor is in the right gap. That is kind of a pain. Kind of a pain versus this automatic step right here. Oh, cut it too long. Integrated cutter. This set by Vice Grip. It's one of my favorites. This one here definitely has some advantages though. It's buttery smooth, and I would imagine for solid core conductor like uh, house wiring, this is the set to get because it strips the outer insulation wide away, whereas this, this right here often leaves it still attached. So you have to grab it manually and pull it off. I don't know, guys. That's, that's interesting. Let's try more complex conductor. This here is a ground strap. Cut it off again. These here are one of my favorites. Let's see how cumbersome it is to use this. So notice how I go around it a little bit and then pull. Uh, okay, so I got some broken strands in there. Got a few broken strands. All right. Let's try this one right here. See how it leaves it attached? All right. And... Almost no broken fibers. All right, given maybe with a little bit more experience on cutting this exact cable, I wouldn't have that problem. Let's try the new set. And this is a larger, larger diameter. Buttery smooth, wow. And no lost conductor. All right, well, there you go, man. Uh, this is the ideal strip master. And uh, it does get down to some pretty small gauges, but you just gotta make sure that your wire is set in the gauge. And if you're looking for an exact science length, like if you're doing uh, terminal connections or something for industrial, these ones here might actually be better because you can adjust it to the very millimeter. Whereas with this one here, there's a lot of slop, like when you grab it and you start to activate it, you know, your wire does slip one way or the other, and it's got this cheesy little uh, bump stop right here, so that's how you set your depth. It does work. However, the bump stop is mediocre, and I think it's flimsy since it's plastic, and you can see how I normally have it stowed is off to the way. So, it is what it is. I actually might start liking these ones. I'm, I don't know. The only thing is, like, you have to really be sure that you're in the right gauge, because if you're in the wrong gauge, you're going to damage the hell out of your conductors. But the knife is very sharp. It's got a very good grip on the outer insulation. And uh, so far, so good. Anyway, yeah, that's the ideal strip master. I like them.